In the world of computer graphics, there are many different file types, and the ones you use will vary depending upon your output needs. Let's walk through some of the options you should find in your version of Aurora HDR. These do vary slightly version to version and computer platform to computer platform, but the basics are the same. To create a new file that's broadly compatible, choose File, Export. This will bring up a new dialog. The first thing to consider is where you want to write it. From the Format menu, you'll see many options. JPEG is very common for saving graphics for the web or even printing. A PNG file is used in some computer graphics programs, tends to be a bit larger than a JPEG, but doesn't have many benefits except for transparency, but that's not an option you really need when making a photo. A GIF file, on the other hand, tends to be highly compressed and isn't used very often these days, but some folks like to use them in things like emails. A TIFF file works quite well for high quality printing. JPEG 2000 is going to give you the ability to create a more modern JPEG file, and this is a variation or a modification on the original JPEG format. The HEIC, or High Efficiency Imaging Codec, is a Mac platform, and this is going to save it in an Apple native format that's similar to the way that things are captured on an iPhone. You can also create an Adobe Photoshop file, which is not going to have layers, but is going to be broadly compatible with many other tools or a PDF file, which will also work with many on-screen devices for reading things, such as document readers, eBooks, and others. Now, most of the time, I find myself making TIFFs and JPEGs. They both work quite well. Depending upon the option you pick, you'll see different choices. Some of those choices include the ability to sharpen. Sharpening is going to put some extra details in into the final file. This can be really useful when dealing with things like JPEG that tends to apply some compression which can soften the image. A little bit of sharpening can help balance that out and avoid the image changing its visual appearance. You also can decide to change the size. Entering a new dimension such as a specific size for the long edge or the short edge in pixels or specific dimensions that you choose. And be mindful of color space. sRGB is broadly compatible for the web Adobe RGB is going to work very well on the web as well and is very common in many cameras and output devices. And Profoto RGB is useful for interchange with higher end graphic programs and has a wider color gamut. You'll notice that at the bottom here, we also have a quality slider to affect the amount of JPEG compression. If I switch to a different format, there may be fewer options or additional options. For example, the TIFF file format supports the higher bit depth of 16 bits per channel, which is a great choice. This means greater accuracy when you print. Choose something else, and you see there's very little options. So it's going to vary depending as you work. Again, I find that JPEG and TIFF are going to tend to give me my best overall quality options. When you're ready, target the location where you'd like to save the image, and then just click the Save button to write the file. You can track the progress at the top here with the status bar.